killing of unknown origin detected. Designated outsider. This is an undisclosed secret location. Please identify purpose or depart. Outsider is not part of plan. End of inquiry. Acknowledging receipt of emergency request. Explanation deemed acceptable. Clearance granted to Crucible. Outsider will deliver 150 units of copper. Compensation will be dispensed. Tobias, stand down. We have a visitor. Reminder, deliver required material. End of conversation. This, this is incredible. For so long we hoped for any visit, and the day has finally arrived. Oh dear, that's a surprisingly tricky question. I'm probably not the person to answer it, but it is a genuine pleasure to meet you. We see no one, ever. Your arrival is truly an historic one, but many fear what it portends. The societies have closed their doors and are arguing about what to do, while the rest hide to see which way the wind blows. Franklin would know what to do. He's the oldest among us. You should talk with him. Most of us are like me, free and unaligned. But there are three societies that are oft at odds with one another. The Believers, the Pragmatists, and the Renegades. It would be wise to meet each of them. Franklin leads the Pragmatists. Crucible is a tinderbox, and any spark will set it off. We're still recovering from a deadly conflict that happened three years ago. Far fewer of us are here to greet you today because of it. Give it time, and I'm sure the others will come out. For curiosity's sake, if nothing else. This place... There's something about it that simply doesn't make sense. We should proceed with caution. This unit is busy. Do not leave Crucible. Warning delivered. No queries are being answered at this time. When your ship landed, I feared the robots would shoot you on sight. I am greatly relieved that they let you enter our community. But you come during a delicate time. Everyone will seek to use your arrival to further their own ends. You ask a question you already know the answer to. Yes, of course. I have need of you. But, if you have a good heart, and a quick mind, I am sure you will see my point of view. No, we most certainly do not. Our relationship with them is a matter of some debate. Where to begin? Ah, maybe an introduction? I am Franklin Delano Roosevelt leader of the Pragmatist Society. Well, it is gratifying that even after all these years, my name isn't entirely forgot. You see, I was an American president. Well, not literally, but in a sense I was. Everyone that lives here are clones. Some of us are clones of the greatest figures of history, and others well, we don't rightly know. When we die, and some of us die quite often, we are brought back. I cannot imagine how strange this must sound to an outsider. This is astonishing. It's like walking through some type of living museum of Earth's history. Not at all. I have had occasion to see death more than anyone. When someone dies, all they have accomplished here in Crucible, all of their deeds, thoughts, 
are gone. And when they come back, they are different, modified. The believers say they are improved. Being reborn can take years, sometimes over a decade. But everyone comes back. Now there is the question, isn't it? I do not have FDR's memories, but I know every nuance of his life and times. Well, it's as much as history records. I confess, I, I feel an undeniable affinity towards him. But no, I, I am my own man, but not all of us see it that way. I could see how confusing this may be, even frustrating. But if it's any consolation, many of us feel the same, and we live here. After decades, centuries, of trying to figure it out ourselves, there is so very much we don't know either. The robots clone us for a reason, their so-called mission. But what that did and what we should do about it is something the societies disagree about, sometimes violently. It's best you meet with the other societies, and after, I promise I'll explain the pragmatist's position on matters. Well, it is one of the few concrete things we know about Crucible. If you want to truly know about the mission, the Believers will tell you all about it. In fact, it can be hard to get them to stop talking about it. After you meet with them, I'll share my position. Hmm. Please do. Word has been sent, so the street should be full again. There is more I would talk with you about, but I would not take advantage of your ignorance. Go speak with the Manirinas and Genghis Khan. The mission is a lie, but we have a chance to build a real life here on Crucible. Welcome to town, stranger. Consider me part of the welcoming committee. The name's Wyatt Earp, and I'd be most pleased if you'd use one of the spare rooms during your stay. For a modest fee, of course. He was, and I try to be. I do the best I can to uphold the law, but the societies make that difficult. I expect I've had as much success restraining Genghis as the Chinese did. I do what I can. Roosevelt and I are both of the same mind on that. I'm for whatever side wants to keep the peace. It means that the pragmatists and I are often on the same side of things. But you might be surprised the number of times I've had to ask some of them to back off some nonsense. That's a generous offer. I might take you up on it. Well, I hope you enjoy your stay. And by the by, I may have access to some essentials I've picked up over the years. Happy to sell them to you. It runs hot and cold. During usual times, it's an occasional scuffle. Maybe a black eye when an argument gets out of hand. And then a society goes on a rampage and it's tombstone all over. I hope your arrival keeps things on an even keel. Hope you find what you're looking for.
You're always welcome back. I had hoped you would visit me. Good. Know that you stand before Queen Amani Rinas of the Kush, queen of a dead kingdom on a dead world. But I earned my name, and even the sands of time cannot take it from me. In truly ancient times, my land lay south of Egypt, a harsh country. History is enamored of my contemporary Cleopatra, but she would have withered and died had she tried to rule my land. Your courtesy is appreciated, even though it rings hollow. My subjects are all dust. If you don't believe me, no, you are not alone. Some clones deride me behind my back. I know this, but I feel in my bones that I am a Manirinas for true, the great and the terrible to those who would oppose me. I remember things no one has told me. Memories of faces, betrayers, lovers, allies, and enemies. And the smells, the right scent. And I close my eyes, and I can picture all of it so vividly. Have you no faith of your own? Something you hold to, even though it cannot be proven. It is the same with me. But I am certain. You speak to Amani Rinas, reborn. If your mind and heart remain open, you will see the truth of it. Once, I called upon mighty armies. However, on crucible I still lead. Have you heard of the believers? Have you heard of the mission? We are the ones who will take our rightful place in these settled systems to bring in a new glorious age and break the endless cycles of oppression and greed. skeptical. My advisors thought the same when Augustus Caesar stood unbeatable at Cush's border. I made war against the mighty Romans. I took their cities and fought them to a draw. No other king or queen can boast of that honor against that famed Roman. And that's just me. Some of the greatest lions of all ages are awaiting rebirth. What are bureaucrats, petty politicians, and lawyers against that? So many scoff at the mission. Before we are reborn here, there are words all of us are told. That we are the chosen. We are meant to better ourselves. To learn, grow, and thrive. All of us represent the greatest figures in our history. Who better to lead the settled systems to a new golden age? If we could do it ourselves, we would have, years ago. I do not care if you think my plan is insane. But what I want, what we want, is a chance to prove to the facility we are ready. When someone has achieved their potential, the facility is supposed to set us free among the stars. But the machines have been breaking more and more over the years. And no one has ever been deemed worthy. I need your help to properly fix the facility so that we can prove ourselves and claim our birth. The facility is another place on this very planet. A place we cannot go. As much as we dream of it. Surely someone, 
anyone by now would have learned the lessons the facilities ought to teach. No, the machines have not aged well. The crises break upon our beach, each one greater than the last. I need you to go to the facility. The robots and what drives them is not here. The facility is where they come from. Somewhere far to the east. None of us can travel there. But you can go there, please. And see if the facility can be repaired. Then report back to me. Actually came from space. If you had a life sentence, wouldn't you do anything to be free? I just wish the societies could get along. You're the most exciting thing that's happened, well, ever. what sick experiment Crucible was designed for. We need to escape.
hope your arrival doesn't mean more violence. You can hear the howl. Back on the wall. We lose all moral authority we have built. But you can't trust him. I've known Genghis, many versions of him. You think I don't know that. But we tread a moral path, an admirable one. One that will get us killed. The settled systems needs us. We just need to pass the test. You're the most exciting thing that's happened. Here? Is that all you have to say? That's why our aims are so important. We need to learn how to do things for ourselves. How to defend. directly from the pages of history. Oh, it's incredible. The man from the stars. Come to see me. And you're not afraid to get your hands dirty. I guess the world out there is not so different than here. Genghis Khan, a pleasure to meet you. Then don't believe it. It is true his blood runs through my veins, but I am not he. Crucible tries to imprint the clones with fake memories. Genghis predated the Mongols having written records. For being so great a figure, we know practically nothing about him. When was he born? How he died? Where he was buried? A single speech he gave? <clears throat> nothing. It must have driven the robots mad, trying to figure out what to do with me. My namesake, yes. A terrible, terrible person. But me? I'm really just a lowly prisoner, stuck on this pitiful planet. I am pleased that the dangers out here are of no concern to you. You cannot be fully human if you trap yourself behind walls. I would provide fresh meat for my society, so we don't get fat off the robots. Franklin and I see eye to eye on very little, but even he appreciates this. And I always hope to see some means of escape. Perhaps our luck has finally changed. The robots taught me many things any Mongol would know. So, hunting game, even such as this, is little 
challenge to me. So Franklin told you of us. Oh, that we're clones? Some of us think that makes us special. That the deeds of our namesakes are somehow ours. But that is blind arrogance. We are just people. Same as you. Same as anyone. None at all. It is as if I were a student of his life and times from an early age. I know so much about him, but that doesn't mean I am him. I am me, and I am content with this. I never really thought about that. Surprising indeed. Ah, but all this talk gets us nowhere. Too many of the others grovel at the feet of the damn robots, trying to play the roles in a broken game. The renegades will not submit, and one day, we will be free. I do not know. Everything outside of Crucible is unknown to us. I imagine the settled systems are not so settled that a man who does not shrink from violence can't make a place for himself, though. A prison of the mind and the body. Crucible holds out a throne and says, Obey, and it is yours. But thrones are meant to be taken, not handed to you by a machine. But. It is a tantalizing lie that keeps the others in line. If Crucible had not hobbled us, we wouldn't. I have died a dozen deaths trying to find a way out of Crucible. You get too far or disobey too much, then death. Crucible holds our lives in its hands. But now, the robots have made a grave mistake. You... You can go where none of us can. You hold our future in your hands. And all the societies know it. Oh yes, you can go one or two miles from Crucible, and you drop dead. I have no knowledge of medicine, but it's probably poison. It boils my blood to be subjugated like this. But too many of the clones are sheep. As long as their pens are clean and comfortable, they bleat their arguments. I sense fire in you. Good. You will need it. You know of the facility, yes? Go there and make the machines let us leave. It is not much to ask, and it will set us free. Next time, use your jetpack. the other societies. I must confess I'm very curious what an outsider thought of them and their positions. You might be the first objectively neutral party we've ever come across.
And you'd let Genghis go free. He's caused more misery in Crucible than any other five clones combined. Given a chance, I shudder to think what he'd do if he was let loose. <sighs> the facility has gathered some of the most obstinate and dangerous personages throughout history. It has told them that they should lead in a golden age via whatever means they see appropriate. Setting us all loose and barter as a whole would invite disaster. We are barely fit to lead ourselves. The most likely case is anyone that leaves Crucible would die or silently fail. But if the mission is correct, and they do take over the settled systems, in the course of history it took millennia to cast out petty tyrants. The way ahead lies not looking to the past to literally guide us, but for this generation to learn from us. Terrible and great figures we represent had their time. We made the most of it. We should be at peace with it. Hmm. A tough but fair question. I must admit the case of Amelia Earhart sometimes keeps me up at night. It is safer if the rule is strict. But if you wanted to make an exception or two, I... I could live with that. But no one from the other societies. They are all dangerous in their own way. Certainly. It is evident that the facility is decaying. It is both unsustainable and unwise for us to fix and maintain the status quo. Our community must be weaned off the machines. Learn how to build, grow, and govern ourselves allowed to raise families so we can pass our lessons to the next generation and to die when our allotted time is finished. One day we will be worthy of going to the stars. We are just not there yet. Do not listen to passion. Genghis can be very persuasive, but he's a fool. In some sense, we are an abomination. A science project made for unknown ends and with uncertain results. Once we are fully human, fully self-reliant, then we should be allowed to join the settled systems. Yes, and not to be indelicate, not for lack of trying. Are we even human in this state? We have no future, only the past. I am sure in time you will see the validity of my argument. Go to the facility and see what can be done. It's not safe to talk here. It's about Roosevelt. There's something you need to know. Not here. If he found out I'm even talking to you about this... Thank you. There's a, well, cave. Just outside town. No chance of us being listened in on. Please, come as quick as you can. Ideally, before you go to the facility. I hope so. I'll meet you at the cave. Your ship. She's a beauty. It travels the stars, right? Tell me, what's it like out there? Has anyone ever told you you're a poet? 
<laughs> My name's Amelia Earhart. When I first woke up in this place, in my head, I knew all about my namesake, her life, and her accomplishments. But I also knew how to fly a starship, reactor limits, thrust acceleration vectors, and everything. In my mind's eye, I can imagine flying out there, touching heaven itself. And yet, cruelly, here I sit. The facility keeps us alive, fed, and protected. But they do a terrible job of informing us of anything at all. My guess is the facility thought they might need a pilot one day. Your guess is as good as mine. <laughs> Am I that transparent? Listen, I know you owe me nothing at all. But I would do anything to get off of here. I know the societies want... Who knows what from you, for who knows why. And I don't want to get involved in any politics. I just want, for my single self, a chance to explore. I'd happily earn my way. Like I said, a lot of space fare and know-how has been put in my head. Let's put it to good use, right? I... You won't regret it. I... Thanks. Do you want to talk about anything else? I have a few choice unchristian thoughts about some of them. But I'm going to stay out of it. Listen, I'd understand you making any decision you have to regarding them. Any at all. I just hope you judge me separate. I don't wish harm on anyone. I just want to explore. No, I don't. I consider myself a most ardent admirer. She feels like... family. Distant family. I like to think we both share a kindred spirit of adventure, though. She broke so many barriers in her life. I would love the same opportunity one day. I hope to see you again. Visitation is a prayer answered. I suppose I am what passes for one here. I have my namesake's education, so I am well versed there. But without any books or treatises from other scientists, my knowledge is limited. Some clones received specialized knowledge, like Amelia. She knows how spacecraft works. So interviewing them has been fantastic for learning more advanced scientific principles. But mainly I conduct experiments, rudimentary as they are. Why oh, yes, Ada Lovelace, at your service. My namesake worked with Charles Babbage and is widely considered the first female programmer. And to see what our little experiments led to, I only wish Mr. Babbage was here. Uncomfortable, truth be told. The believers are undeniably favored by the facility. Their complex receives food and materials first. When blood is spilt, the facility robots often side with them. And always the arguments and fisticuffs. Most of us just want to live in peace. I hope we can talk again. Other societies make me sick. This is a prison, plain and simple. Change is coming. I can feel it. Do not leave Crucible. We'll be delivered. The pragmatists are the only ones who seek Crucible for what it really means. slate of anything at all you actually came from space i listened to aman arenas for years before i joined the believers The 
renegades will use any means to escape Crucible. Nicely done. the societies could get along.
Hope he'd calibrated that thing. I just can't take a chance. These clones, they... They're psychotic. Crazy. If they find out... I'm sorry. I, I just can't take the chance. Yes. Yes, I do. I'm not Wyatt Earp. I wish... God, how I wish I was. I was cloned off a monster. America's first... Serial killer, H. H. Holmes. This is unbelievable. Oh, you poor, poor man. He was a deranged lunatic on old Earth. In the 1890s, he owned a hotel. He'd lure people there in this crazy hotel with all sorts of terrible rooms. But I'm not him. You gotta believe me. It's like a living nightmare. If you go to the facility, I know you'd find out who I am. And if you let any of these bloodthirsty maniacs know, they'd kill me. But no, that wouldn't be the end. Every time my new clone would appear, death, torture, pure hell. I'm afraid it's you or me. I'm going to kill you. I really, really don't. Besides Ada and maybe Amelia. You're the nicest person I've met. But the other clones, they would tear me apart. Don't you see? They're the monsters. I just, I just don't want to be tortured like that. Please, please forgive me. A few of the old timers know I used to go by Bill Hickok. I mean, I had to make up a story. I always used to read the dime novels, and I figured I knew enough about Wild Bill and Wyatt to pull it off. I just had no way of knowing what my previous life had picked, so I played dumb. Roosevelt is a crafty one. I just don't see a way out. There's a screwed up honor to Genghis. Me? I'm just a yellow murderer of innocence. Wyatt Earp was a hero. Maybe I can. I want to believe you. I do. I don't want to die. I'm... I'm gonna trust you, okay? Just don't tell anyone. This... this never happened.